this sound so bad? Might be 1974. Would you do 85 miles an hour on that thing? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're doing this? <laughs> What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, Go Power Sports is flying us down to Fort Worth, Texas to build a derelict 1969 Powell Challenger for the first ever Pull Start Picnic mini bike show. The catch, we're flying in on Friday and the show is Saturday morning, giving us less than 24 hours to turn this tired survivor into a show winner. That's it. This is the one you bought? That's the one I bought. So this is the bike that we're gonna build and this is the 10 second bike. 12 hours. I oh. forgot what it looked like. I don't even remember what it's called. It's it's a, a Powell Challenger. So I picked up this bike at the paint swap meet. Uh, the guy pulled it over and I heard it hit, but I never heard it run. It's a really interesting design. That's what really got my interest because the the it's a belt drive. So you got a lever, yeah. like a suicide shift on this thing to well, shift it into know. gear. And then it's got a only front half right here. Yeah, so that puts tension on the belt. That puts tension on the belt and it only has a front driver. So when you give it the gas, it engages and it goes. Oh, so there's only one front right, half so there's of the torque converter. Wow. That's it. Interesting. It is. Uh, so when I saw this and how unusual it was, it was unusual to me. I've never seen one like this before. I had to have it. And it is the most I've ever spent on a mini bike so far. How much? 550 bucks. Wow. Nice. So we're gonna build this bike in 12 hours or less so we can get first place at the pool start picnic tomorrow. We don't even know if this engine runs, so we're putting some fuel in it. We're gonna try to crank it over, and if it runs, awesome. We're gonna tear it apart and start painting it. But if not, we're gonna start troubleshooting. That's my problem. Uh, pretty cool. It's a funny looking end. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the uh, rest of it, so we're gonna be putting a new twist grip on it. I got wide open. Didn't do anything. Choke off. Let's try to uh, add a little something. I don't know, fellas. It might not have spark. Here we go. Why does it sound so bad? That muffler. Oh. It's like this long. Oh, oh. no, it's, it's actually a pretty good size, but it's got like a spark arrestor on it or something, so it sounds pretty funny. Hopefully that's what it was. I don't, it kind of ran away on us a little bit. Yeah. Does it have oil? Oh. No one checked oil? We do this every time. <laughs> Consistency. Yeah. Well, it, it kind of runs. It does. Let's see if there's any oil. I forgot my flashlight, so. Oh, you know what? I love this. This is craftsmanship right here. So they must they must not have had a gasket. Is that silicone? No. It's a water hose. Oh it's yeah. It's a water hose gasket. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh yeah, it's got oil in it. Does it? Hold yeah. on, let's see. Oh, it don't look too bad either. Cool. He just tasted it now. The headlight came on too. <gasps> no. Did yeah, it really? It sure did. I didn't even see it. I was yeah, just I was boy. Tossing. scared. Right. I think we got ourselves a first place winner here. We just have about, you know, 15 hours of work ahead of us. But we can do it. All right, well, dude, look where we're at. We're at the Mecca. We're at the right spot. Okay, so um, I don't know why it was running away from us. You want to try cranking it one more time? Yeah, because uh, I, I let go of the throttle, but... Here's the uh, linkage right here. Okay. Well, we need a return spring. It's yeah. got a, a Powell model number F uh, exhaust on it. I think that's a flame arrester. Yeah. Because it's a California bike. Um, but, and it's on top of a, a muffler. So it's got 
a factory muffler with the Powell add-on. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, Maybe. it'll be it'll be fine. I like the heat sink, the heat fins on it. That's yep. pretty cool. So I mean, it's all right. So let's get this thing up on the table and start to uh, oh, assess what we've got. Hey, clean it up, dude. We got a Tecumseh running, and we didn't have to adjust the I, points. Dude. That is crazy. And every time we have to make go. Oh, but we do have a, a problem with the throttle, like almost like the governor stuck or something. Well, it's a show, not a race. There you go. Right. So what I do like is this is a Colorado tag, but it says 74. 74. That's a keeper. Might be 1974. So we noticed these uh, factory, like, I guess, T handles or Y handles, but it's for easy disassembly. That is so cool. It that changes cool. the whole look of the bike. It really does. It's really funny how we have like square tubing. That's not even tubing. Oh, is it? Oh my gosh, it's hollow on the bottom. Yeah. C channel. And then we have flat bar and then we have round bar. It's like it's everything put together. Look at the little fork tube. <laughs> that is so you're sketchy. Gonna, you're going to find it very interesting. You undo this, the handlebars slide out, uh -huh. which uh, lets this drop down, which makes the front fork come off the bike completely. Yeah. It's for stowing away yep. in your car. I believe it. Yeah. And it's the first, like, mini bike I've seen with, like, running boards. So now that we looked the bike over, we got an idea of everything that we need. So we have a nice parts list. We're going to head to the store now and get our parts. Really loading up here for our restoration. Ultra fine steel wool sandpaper. We got, got three double, zero. Double lot. Triple. And then quadruple. I think the double lot is good. So we're good. You said something about paint yeah. brushes. Yeah, so yeah. I could, we can uh, do a paper towel. That's right. It up. Do we have brake clean? We're going to get into the parts store because we're going right. to get tail light and degreaser. Let's go. I think that's it. Oh, winner, boys. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, where's the, uh, where's the bolt-on section? We need to make this thing look awesome. Right here. Oh, yeah. Big old tips. Yeah. See you back the shop. new lens fits perfect so teardown is almost complete we're doing some more digging into this wiring and it seems to be original i'm still not sold on it but uh although everything seems to be complete and uh you can't take this I like, apart did these did they sell these blue plugs in 71 i don't know but the thing that made me wonder is the electrical outlet the house plug the house plug uh but it doesn't appear to be wrong that's the thing it's the craziest craziest thing i've ever seen all right so we're now in cleaning mode on this chassis, just a little brake clean, a little bit of paper towel action, just getting all this grime off before we uh, scuff it and then apply the new paint. So we applied our self-etching primer over the naked uh, metal. Now we're going to add the closest matching paint that we've got to this frame. It's going to look so good. Chubbs 
guys from LA just showed up with some really sweet bikes. So we're gonna take a break on our bike to check out what they're gonna be racing later this weekend. So much horsepower, just blew the carb off. I love how that's the tamest looking bike. So I heard that there's gonna be a little test and tune action. Yeah, uh, in Mexico. Tomorrow afternoon uh, yeah, tomorrow in Mexico. Tomorrow afternoon in Mexico on a privately owned street. I'm doing some testing. Track strip, you mean? No, it's private property. Oh, okay. In Mexico. Oh, okay. <laughs> From what it looks like out in the parking lot, they mean, bit. they mean business and we're not gonna see them. They're gonna be there and gone. All right, so the paint is dry-ish. As dry as it's gonna be, we're starting reassembly already. Charles has put in a bunch of time. Dude, straight from Chucky's speed and performance shop. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't even look like the same engine. It's not bad. I, 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 need to remove that. I need to remove that sticker. I think I missed one, but I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out this. Someone removed some lettering off of a warning label. Just one little specific part, and I can't figure out what's missing, but I'm sure somebody knows. Oh. I'm letting yep. go. Yep, go ahead. I think it's going to fall back. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. No pressure, boys. all that holds the forks on that's it that's wild it is wild you better not lose your wing nut you know oh, what's so funny sick. is everyone is like oh it's a powell everyone knows what a powell is except us i've never seen one until this one it's crazy yeah but you know what we might not know what a powell is but we know what vinegar based barbecue is from north carolina oh, honestly i can't anything. believe this is the same um, bike from like five hours ago the no, chrome it's, shine. It's, it's, like, to you. Damn. it's like we took a page out of Rick's playbook. Dude, that looks beautiful. Dude. Yeah. Look at that exhaust. It's so cool, too. Yep. Uh, we were told that that's probably the value of the entire bike, what you paid for it at Pate, that little exhaust thing. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. So on the back, someone pointed it out while I was cleaning it. Yep. It's there's instructions that says well it says to to clean remove plug idle engine one minute in fire safe place so you remove this plug you remove the plug and it like clears out unburnt fuel cool. okay I, I, it's something safety and I guarantee you at the time when it was new people didn't like it but now that it's you can't get it people like it all right now Ooh. oh Release the tension. Release the tension. Okay. We're on. Okay. Now we just so gotta scoop the engine back. You shove uh, this like forward. Two. Yes. There's a spring that goes from there to there that pulls that down, which makes the tension between these two tight. And then the Behind this pulley is the chain, right? Yeah. yeah. So the sprocket, and then it goes to the rear wheel. Installing the swing arm and this crazy inverse drum brake. What do you need, Charles? I gotta lift the chassis. Chassis gotta get lifted up. I can't pick it up. I'm ruining the paint. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm racing, but you, you got some. I'm going this Going? Yeah. yeah. So we. That good little paint right there. Yeah. It's all right. That's yeah, what it's touch fine. ups for. Yeah, that's right. I do this at SEMA too. Yeah. I'm sure they do. We're getting super close. Moving on to finishing touches like the seat. It uses one of those really cool just Y handles. Why is that? Because it's cool. Because it's cool. And, and I believe that this is the original seat. The side cover cleaned up awesome. Oh, it's so good. I didn't take this off the screws. 
What kind of screws does it use? And where are they at? Look at that, dude. That is insane. That so this thing good. came together. You want to put tire shine on it next? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bingo, it's time. Yes. You know it's a real show bike when we put the black magic on it. So these are one of the bikes that's going to be racing tomorrow night. Really? So, this, yeah. This particular one? I think that bike. Um, see, if these. this was mine, I'd have to do something different with the uh, carburetor. The oh, yeah. It's in your knee. It's, dude, your leg wrapped around. Yours does not. Mine does not. It is so tiny, okay. and that's so a lot of sauce in that engine. I would have to move this far forward to get my leg around, which might be good for wheelies. Yeah. Put the wheelies down. But I feel like I'm trying to fall over the front of this thing. Would you do 85 miles an hour on that thing? Yeah. Today's the day of the pole start picnic. First annual mini bike show. Oh, we gotta see if we have some dry paint. The uh, bike really turned out awesome. Yep. But we have no idea what the competition is out there. Oh, I've seen some of the competition. How's the bike doing this morning, yeah, fellas? Where did the little good. square go? Uh, it's, uh, I can't right believe here. it just looks fantastic. It looks, looks really good. Uh, I do need to pull this cover off to get this yeah, uh, in there. Do yours first, and then I'll try and match over here because I have a lot of room. Sounds good. Yo, this is 3M good. safety tape. Yeah, it's uh, the, the anti-skid step tape. Going perfectly in the middle, right? I mean, perfect for me, not for you though. Your OCD might kick off. No, it looks good. This is our finest quickie job yet. Absolutely. Charles is uh, touching up little scratches here and there. And, uh, Reassembly was a little touchy. Red Rocket, man. Not bad. I think Red Rocket's good. It's a great name. It's an awesome For name. a red mini bike. Yes. And it's going to be fast. I think it might be the hill. Oh, no. oh. Off to the show. All right, we're rolling up to the venue. Rockwood go-karts and mini golf. Wow, they got security at the gate. For the pull start picnic, baby pretty good turnout it is already that's a lot of bikes yeah oh there's my man red shirt wait he's my buddy oh yeah we clear hey guys welcome to go power sports full start picnic 2023 for all the people that just showed up do not forget to register your bike up here we do have uh your buckets are uh, waiting on buckets right now we are uh, we'll get this up with your name tag, and that way everyone knows who you are and who you're voting for. Bill Brake Repeat Boys made it out. Hey, I'm walking in. Yeah. ever pull start picnic has been spectacular here are a ton of bikes ton of people a lot of really cool diverse builds uh, we're about 10 minutes from the final uh, the judging announcement uh, we were able to uh, judge the drag class so we picked a really cool bike a very special bike and uh, we'll talk about it more here in a few minutes first annual pool star picnic and this is a success i actually woke up and said what does success look like and it's looking up and seeing all of your beautiful faces and mini bikes so thank you for making this happen from the bottom of our hearts you guys have come from canada california georgia all over and i'm deeply touched so thank you guys all right 
So first we're going to start it out with the raffle. We're going to pull 10 tickets. I got you, bud. Okay. Look bad All right, Go Power Sports shirt and a Full Start Picnic poster. Yep, yep, I guess you hit it. Harvey yeah. Pozad. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Go, buddy! Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to start drawing for some bigger prizes. Hey man, that one had your name on it. <laughs> we got our vintage class. Our winner, the Kawasaki Coyote from Harley Wrangell. Yeah. Say hi to Bernie. <laughs> Your winner of the Red Ride is Twinzel Washington! Yeah. By Manuel Roman. Beautiful bike that's got the dual engine on it. Say hey, hi to Bernie. Alright, bring your bike up. Bring your bike up here. Good job. Good job. Yeah. 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 Alright, we have our drag class up next. This bike is beautiful. Can we give it up for Cleveland Gold Digger? Woo! 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 Get three concert tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you said to say hi to Bernie? Uh, no. Uh, and bring that drag bike up here at the house. Thank you, please. Good job. Yeah! yeah. All right, next we have the Wild Style. And this one goes to Godzilla by John Canoe. Yeah. Out in the back. Say hi to Bernie over here. Give that to the Bill of Ross. That's wild, ain't it? Oh, yeah, it's wild. All right, now we're off to the off-road section. This one goes to the fake KTM by David Sedona. Thank you. Appreciate you. Say hi to Bernie. All right, the people's choice. This is the mini bike that has the most tickets in their bucket. So great job. This one goes to Edgar Sanchez and the Hellcat. Great award. This one, number two, this one's going to Cars and Cameras. What? Oh, what? <laughs> what is it? What's your bike? It's the pay The pay pay? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. What's your bike? Everyone just seems confused. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Good job by winning that. Isaac, hold your trophy. Yeah, hold your trophy. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, Red Rocket. All right, Red Rocket. Make sure to say hi to Bernie. Bernie! Bring your bike up. I don't know what he thinks he's doing this. <laughs> so our last few awards are going really to be out by Mini Bike Coalition Jack and Rick at Dustin Nuggets. Really don't know what to do with ourselves. We didn't expect to win anything. We just put together a really cool bike and rattle canned it overnight and it was ready for the show this morning. But what do you think? I, you want to try and ride it, man? Man, we don't even know if it runs yet. We so, haven't rode it yet? Oh, no. boy. All right. So I'm going to give it a shot. Please don't whiskey throttle. Please don't whiskey throttle. That's gotta be. That's pretty cool. Hey! Well, I'll tell you. Grab a photo with you guys. 
Yeah, absolutely. Am I one? Oh, cool. Break is so cool. Dude, this is awesome. That is awesome. I love it. Good job, man. Hey. All right. Yeah. This thing Woo. drives like a Cadillac, too, dude. And my, my favorite part is the uh, the 1974 trail sticker that's under the seat. We yeah. decided to tape around that and save it. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we can go through the carburetor. It's acting like uh, the idle circuit is not working. No, I, I mean, no we didn't deal. even touch the carburetor on this thing. All I did was clean the engine the yeah. outside. So. Yeah, it's good to go, guys. At least that's it. And there's oil in it, so we're good. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the first ever Pull Start Picnic was a huge success. Tons of bikes, so much diversity. Uh, and the winner's circle was just an awesome representation of everything that is great about mini bike culture and builds. Uh, and we managed to basically restore a mini bike in a day and we actually won in our class. There were only two bikes in the class, but we won in the class, in the paint swap meet restoration. Uh, class. So uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time and at the next Pull Start Picnic. Huge shout out to Go Power Sports for putting this event on. Uh, they did an awesome job. Can't wait till next year. We'll see you next time. Get tickets and uh, be ready to win the big fight. Uh,